A special shout out to Sam Medina, Matthew Hall, Lucky Charms, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kelly, Yushika Bay, Madlow, The Hellraiser, Harrington, Killer Bunny 264, Jelly Beams, Jim Bones, Bilalko, and I Am Beast for your amazing support. To support the channel by becoming members and patrons like them, check out the links in the description down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, Darkness Falls mod. So I'm going to be trying this one more time. Uh, I actually just started and then my drone got in my way and blew myself up. So it's messed up that you can hit your own drone with a rocket. For those of you just joining in our uh, episode 108, uh, so two episodes ago, we faced the day 77 horde for the first time, insane difficulty, and got wrecked. The succubi and, uh, and matriarchs were actually able to break through the roof. The demon lords kept killing us with fireballs because the room was too small. And yeah, then I decided, okay, that's the survival series done. Let's try creative mode and see if we can make something at last. And I blew myself up twice and the demon lords and bosses kept hitting me. Guys, on insane difficulty, the fireball just needs to land near you. Like a block, block or two away, you're dead. Even fully armored, fully, I have the completionist skills. or all, all the class perks, all those perks are fully invested in. You still die. So insane difficulty might be really impossible, especially if you're not using cheese bases. I'm just using a full on normal base. So let's see if we can do this. <laughs> so it is insane difficulty, nightmare speed, 64 blood moon spawn. Let's do this. I'm going to show you guys what I did on the roof and then we are going to start this thing. Um, like I said, just now I tried it. Uh, I already went through this whole explanation, everything. First rocket I fire, my drone goes shoot in your face. So, and apparently you can hit your own drone with a rocket launcher, so as soon as it jumped in front of me, I died. Which I hope is not going to be a recurring theme in this um, episode, because I want to try and survive. What bothers me though is a ton of the bosses got to me super fast, so this pathing might not be the best uh, or as good as I thought it was. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, you might just enjoy this and seeing me get wrecked. So I'm not going to go and say, weather, fog, zero. Uh, GFX AF0. For some reason, when I die just now, also my screen went and, and just froze. On OBS, it shows everything is going on as normal, but my screen itself is freezing and that's bothering me. Okay, so, yeah, GFX, it, it takes all the detail out the distance, basically. Makes the RAM and everything perhaps run smoother. So basically, guys, the zombies are going to be able to run from the south. They'll be able to get up the stairs of here. They're going to run from the west to the east. They'll be able to come up this of here. And from the north to the south on both sides of the stairs at this side and this side they have ladders that they can get up on. Now if they run up and they fall down they'll be able to get up the stairs over here. And the whole goal for them is to turn, to turn, to jump, to jump, to jump, jump and jump and then they get hit by electric uh, fence posts and blade traps over here. There were yep, a few bosses just now so I'm going to have to constantly try and repair those. I have hatches on top of here where I can connect the electric fence post. So we have the crisscross and straight across. I should probably have lifted my electric fence post a, a bit. Since the zombies aren't going to be jumping over here, I decided to just put electric fence posts. But bosses don't, as far as I could see. What if I shouldn't do this? Uh, the bosses do, didn't get slowed down over here. So that's something I am kind of worried about right now. If I were to die... Uh, we spawn at the back over there, on the, uh, behind those blocks of my bedroll. We run back over here, we jump on the ladder, and we just get back into the room. And hopefully we are safe. I have a laser workbench over here. And then on top over here, we have all our turrets. We have 20 MK normal auto turrets, and 8 shotgun MK turrets. So the, the shotgun ones use slugs, these just use normal rounds. So yeah, and then also have our turret over here, here, and here. This stops the regen of, in, of succubi and matriarchs. This already was a succubus. The succubus died of here. What is this? My drone just got wrecked from... Every time it goes past there as well, look at this. My blades to wrap take damage because my uh, drone keeps getting in the way. So when I fire rockets now, I'm going to have to be so careful as to where this thing is standing. Because this bugger keeps getting in the way. Okay, so we are going to... Oh, look at that. Just do it again, in front of my face, for no reason. Set time. Day 140, 2100 hours, 55 minutes. And let's see how fast I'm going to die. <laughs> Guys, like I said, the bosses just showed up really fast. And when I did this, the turret went in front when I tried to shoot them. So, um, I think since the electric fence posts aren't across the quarter blocks, they're making it... Especially the bosses are making it over too easy, which might be a major problem for us. I'm going to try and stack these as much as possible. 
I think you can stack them up to like... Oh, there's already a matriarch. Oh, this isn't stacking. I'm just wasting. There's a demon lord. I just got negative effects from a demon lord. Oh, so this is empowered... Dem uh, empowered uh, demonic behemoth. That's the demon lord over there. Let's make sure we hit him with this. We have to be careful of all the negative effects. These dudes are so OP. I oh, they're trying to get into the wall over there. It's because I placed all the, the uh, plates over there. If they do that, I'm going to get so wrecked. I should not have put those uh, those bars over there. The bars are now going to kill me. Oh, no. And also, my turrets are going crazy up top. This is so bad. Okay, heal as well, please. And then before they can hit the block over there, I need to try and kill them. See, because I've play, uh, placed the blade traps over there, if I do this, now my blade traps are going to get destroyed. Because I've placed the blade traps over there, um, all the, the, the bars, the zombies are trying to get into the blade traps. What the hell is going on over here? Kill those, please. My turrets are going to run out of ammo because there's matriarchs and it seems they're struggling to kill the matriarchs. They just set off that demo over there and see how much damage is going to do. If he takes my blade traps away, I'll be able to then go and replace... Why is that thing not taking damage from laser weapons? I just shot the, uh, the demo and it didn't take any damage from the laser weapon just now. Go and just stay out of my way, please. Stay out of my way. Stay out of my way. Stay out of my way. The moment that my, bl uh, my blade traps weren't doing any damage at all. Please, this base is going to fail so fast. It's going to fail so fast. Yeah, I keep hitting myself for that, unfortunately. If that demo explodes, I'm dead. I'm getting overrun of here now. Ooh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. How did he get through so fast? And how did he get through so fast? He instantly destroyed that block just now. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. At least I survived a little bit longer than I usually do. But this... Oh, no. Because he saw me... Oh, look at this. Matri uh, patriarch in front of me. If that patriarch shoots me while I'm on the ladder, I die. Come on, get in there, get in there, get in there. Copy shape, copy rotation. I'm gonna do that. Oh, I have a problem right now. I'm just gonna do that to help protect me over here. Oh, oh, I was about to say, where's all my ammo? It seems that the blade traps have broken. I need to do this. Turret, please, dr oh, drone, please don't get in my way right now. Every time the drone gets in front of me, I die. If I can set off the demos, even if they were to go and explode uh, and uh, destroy my blade traps, I might be able to fill in the, uh, the walls over there then. They're less likely going to be trying to get into the walls like they're doing right now, which is going to help us later. Oh, this is a demon lord. Guys, the effects that I'm getting every now and then when I start to bleed for no reason. That means there's a demon lord uh, somewhere over here, very close by. I thought I'm going to be able to keep them from getting up here to me at all, but now it seems like I'm having a really hard time. I'm definitely taking negative effects right now from the demon lord. I wonder why they're trying to get up there though. Only headshots count against these dudes, and their heads are sometimes hidden, so it's really hard. We really do some damage over here. Oh, if that demo explodes, I'm dead. Okay, um, if I could just shoot him in the chest, perhaps. For some reason, I'm not. This gun is not doing any damage to the demos. I wonder if the gun's bugged. It might be from all the firing and stuff. I think the frame rate right now is also super low. 
I'm basically not doing any damage because the damage per second is too high with the laser tech. I've shot the, uh, the uh, demos in the chest so many times already and they're just not exploding. Which, I mean, is kind of a blessing as well. Ooh, was that, what was that just now? Oh, that was one of the demos exploding. Yeah, that was definitely one of the demos exploding just now. I said, so it's a good thing I have this then. Guys, I apologize for all the noise from the turrets. Um, yeah, uh, until they run out of ammo, really nothing that much I can do. Oh, I'm hoping these dudes fall down. The reason I hope they fall down is because I need to go help the succubi on the roof. This dude just glitched through the blocks for some reason. I don't know if you guys saw that. It went into the where the blade trap was just now. I need to be careful because I'm because all the, uh, because of all the noise, I'm not hearing when the demo is going to explode. And if I can't hear the demo explode or tick off, I'm going to be too close and it's going to kill me. So far from this distance, because of all the poles I have in between us, um, yeah, he's not actually killing me when he explodes. It's a demon lord. He's giving me negative. Oh, there's two, three demon lords over here. I'm so dead. With this many demon lords over here, how the hell am I supposed to kill them? And the negative effects that I'm getting because there's three demon lords over here. Oh, I need to go kill the succubi and stuff upstairs. Oh, whoopsie. He's gonna break in. Guys, look at all the negative effects and stuff that they're giving us right now. This is so bad. Can I just knock him down somehow, please? I don't think I can. It's giving me constant negative effect at the moment because of the fact that he's so close to us. That's just what the Demon Lord does. It does an insane amount of AoE damage. Oh, it's all exploded just now. I want to kill at least one Demon Lord once. He does that tall. Look at this. Although he is standing on the frame or something at the back. Oh, no. He's destroying pillars. I wonder if I'll be able to quickly go and uh, copy the shape. Copy, rotation. Okay, oh no, there's more blocks being broken. See, he's standing on blocks as uh, he's breaking blocks as he's standing on them, so it makes it hard for me to repair that. Oh, what was that? Oh, there's a matriarch inside. They broke through the roof. It's at least, guys, so far it's going way better than last time, but still, oh, I'm dying. There's three demon lords. Okay, if something's still alive, with all of uh, the wings and stuff up here, so there's so many of these succubi that die just now. I thought they're dying from my uh, traps on top, but it seems like they die from when I die. When I die, they die. Okay, but how the hell? Oh, no. Okay, I didn't even notice they're doing all this damage over here. And now her body's in the way, so I can't place this block. Uh, where's my bag? want to do some repairs over here and then i don't know why my turrets couldn't kill them i could have sworn lost them at least well at least the succubi my turrets can kill uh but i think i need to actually have bars over here so i can shoot them with some with my own laser tech instead of having the turrets do it the turret should technically be down here helping me out and then on the roof itself to uh, deal with all the succubi and the stuff we have to do something else now i think i'm going to change it up on the roof a bit because on the roof over here we actually have a massive hole I did this on purpose. Oh, we don't have enough blocks to block this. I did this on purpose to make sure uh, that they come for this hole over here. Then it's going to be easier for my turrets to defend. I'm out of concrete shapes right now. So if I get attacked again, I'm dead. I think my turrets might also be empty. Yep. All my turrets are completely, completely empty. So, I can either have these downstairs with me, or up here doing nothing. Or rather have them downstairs with me then. <laughs> okay, she d oh, she despawned, but I don't have any blocks left. Can I make? Yes, I can make a few. Although, uh, let's make it in the this over here. And perhaps on us as well. We're gonna do this, pointing right there. Well, I don't have enough ammo for all of them. Just realized. 
Come on, jump up. Okay, so now I just need a block or two to block at least this off. I want to do the roof as well. But I need to restart this horde now because it is nighttime. I, I misplaced I placed this one upside down. Now that's going to help the zombies a lot. Or the demons and stuff. They're going to be able to stand here and wait on this one. Unfortunately, I kind of messed up with the rotation over here. But it's because the demon world was standing over here. So it made it so hard for me to place any shapes over here. 26 seconds left. Okay, so in 26 seconds, I'll just quickly make sure that I place this block and then we restart. Oh, okay, the Demon Lord even did some damage over here. I just realized that as well. Come on. During Horde Night, we can plug the rest perhaps, but for now, I just need these shapes. Five seconds left. I think the one on me is going like, to uh, finish sooner. Fail not. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. Block this, and... Okay, all of that's repaired. It just doesn't look repaired. They were definitely trying to get into over there, which is bad. See, it's because I placed those bars there. So they see, ooh, I can just walk through there to get to this dude. Okay, so I'm going to restart this horde now quickly. Hopefully before more uh, of the ladies show up, I can actually put another block down. That's 44 seconds. If I don't do it in time, we are going to die from... I'm going to just have to stand over here. So they don't go for that block over there. So yeah, let's just quickly restart and get the horde going again. Let me just see, I died twice. Yeah, this one was from me blowing myself up before the horde started. So I only died twice uh, so far. Which is way better than previously because previously, uh, even when the bosses couldn't make it to us this easily, I died four, five, six times. So th this defense has uh, its merit. It has uh, potential. I think people on the server are going to be so glad, even if they might complain at first, that I'm putting it on 50% XP. Because in playing with friends, you share XP so you level up faster as well. So it's not just you getting yourself 50%, other, one, other people also give you 50% XP. So you're going to level fast no matter what anyways, and especially if you're active on the server, ooh, you're going to get demons soon. And now we see, even with titanium bases, it gets insane, it's, it gets impossible. I'm kind of curious to see how everything's going to play out on the server. Ooh, just realized you're broken. Come on, 12 more seconds. You're pausing properly at least. Come on, 5 seconds. Please don't let the succubus or something come through that hole before it's time. Why are you guys not going? I was about to say. Why are they not going for the, uh, the entrance of it? There's a demon lord again. At least my turrets now also help uh, with the re uh, stopping the region of the zombies. And I just now, I killed that dude way easier than usual, so I'm guessing it's the turrets helping. Oh, how did you do that? He's glitching through blocks. How the hell did you do that? Teach me, master. There's definitely going to be succubi and stuff in the roof and uh, matriarchs that I need to try and kill. So, I'm going to have to check for damage to the roof and every now and then repair that as well. Demon Lords all of a sudden struggling to make it over. What the hell? Earlier they didn't have a problem. Empowered Demonic Bike. And no wonder you're dying so slow. Guys, look at this. 2,000 HP. He's barely... He's not taking any damage from my... Okay, that's bugged again. For some reason, sometimes they just don't take damage, even though they're supposed to. So it's, it's like there's a bug or something with the laser tech, because as soon as you shoot them, it doesn't do damage. That all my world's actually busy breaking and bugging out and stuff, so that's also a possibility. Go and get out of my freaking way, I swear. If you go in front of me again. Face shot will do the most damage to them. You have to make sure the explosion goes off by the heads. Especially since it's insane difficulty, headshots count more. Those headshots are going to really save your bacon over here. Look at this. There is a divin lord close by. I'm getting the negative effects every now and then. I wonder why some of them are falling down and some of them are not. I thought, uh, I really actually thought that this is going to be like a standalone base. Like an AFK base. Uh, but yeah, I have to fight so much just to survive. Hello, Behemoth. It's, a it's been a while since I've actually seen a normal Behemoth. That is, that brings back memories because I've been getting only demons last bit. 
Nope. Oh, no, 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 no. They're busy breaking the roof of you. I can easily go and uh, put place and stuff on the roof. But that's only going to solve the problem slightly, not all the way. Crap, in the corner. Nice. See, as long as you can actually put some um, laser tech on them, the, the, the demos... Oh, they just destroyed my blade traps, though. I was about to say, the demos can actually help you protect your base. You stop the regen of the demons over here, and then have a demo explode in their faces. Oh, crap, that's going to break. What I'm gonna have to do then. Shape. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Shape. Uh, I need the plate. Oh, what was that? That must have been one of the bosses vomiting at me just now. I want a plate on the roof so we can protect the roof. If they break through that uh, block, we have to put a plate down. It's because I was looking up for far too long. I accidentally copied shape instead of selecting the plate shape. And now, if something's behind me, I'm dead. Are you kidding me? And because nothing in the area sees me right now, I have to restart the game again. The horde only continues. For those you don't know, the horde only continues um, if there are. Let me just quickly do this. Now on face. Yeah, the, uh, the horde only continues if. Ooh, that's broken. Uh, if a zombie sees you, and if a zombie doesn't see you, it stops uh, going. So now we have to go and do this again for the last 20 or so minutes in game. I want to see the damage they did outside. Does the power thing work? The, th the problem is, guys, the demon bosses, like the, the demon lord and the empowered demon, demonic behemoth, um, perhaps even the prince and the, the king, the, the incubus and the patriarch, they all make it over the jump that I, uh, I put over there. I don't know if I'm I kind of messed up the boss, perhaps, because so many of them are making it over right now. Okay, I thought that the anti-succubus anti defense last time was working, but I think it might not have worked at all. Or it worked but, uh, against succubi, but not against the uh, matriarchs. The matriarchs have way too much HP. That hole is open. Oh no. This is bad. I can't stand over there. If I stand over there, they're going to come down to me. I just have to last 20 more. 15 more in-game minutes. Come on, you can do it. I do. I want to uh, see how much the game stage is right now. I think it's insanely uh, uh, massive. It's only up there. Let's make sure they don't vomit. Oh, there's a demon lord. Every time you bleed all of a sudden, guys, and there's nothing around you, know that there's a demon lord close by. I want to make sure nothing flies. Oh, crap. Hello. Even if I put a block there, as soon as I break that block, it's going to break everything. Hello, Demon Lord. I see you. It's morning. Okay, so we survived until morning at least. Now what I need to do is just run away from here. And then we have... Well, I can't say we've survived because we've died way too many times. Let's go. Look at all those matriarchs. For those of you who don't know, brown wings are the succubi. Black wings are the matriarchs. Basically, they're the queens. Oops, there's a vulture. So basically, they're the queens. Um, there's uh, princes, princesses, kings, and queens in the game. And it seems that the queen is so much harder to kill than the prince and the princess. Is this just a normal vulture? I think so. It just sees that my HP is low, so I was like, ah, let's just go for it. I know I didn't leave the chunk completely, so there might be some zombies left. I just want to see what the overall damage kind of was to this place over here. Okay, they despawned, it seems like. I think the power thing worked way too well. Because they made it up here, it doesn't seem like they broke anything, really. So the way they pulled up there, they didn't even try and break blocks over here. This was from explosions and stuff. Yeah, this works way too well. But the problem was over here. 
For some reason, the bosses especially made it over... Oh, that's broke as well. They made it over way too easily, and then when they get over here, they just annihilate us. And because I put these over here, they're trying to get into the walls over here and break through because it's thinner on this side than it is to go through all of this over here. So, my verdict? Impossible. <laughs> if you Guys, I could make a base where basically all you have to do is fight the, the succubi and the matriarchs. Um, and then the rest of the base will protect itself because it's a cheese base. Uh, there's no way for the zombies to get to you because uh, you can make it so that they keep falling down and down and down. They just cannot make it over to you. Uh, one such example is, for example, uh, let me just quickly do this. If you make a base with half blocks like that, but you make the half block go all the way to the top. So the zombies think there's a floor over there and then they fall off. Uh, I, I could make designs like that, but I don't know how fun that would be. I think you guys like seeing me suffer more than anything else. So yeah, this is for your enjoyment. I put myself through pain. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's it's actually very extremely painful dying this much, especially in a game I love this much. All together with all of the uh, the Horde Knights that we faced down in Sanity, we died 17 times. And I think in the whole series up until then, we died like 8 or 9 times. So all the rest of the deaths were me just trying to face an insane level of Horde. And you guys saw just now, with the previous defense, let me just put God Mode on over here as well, because I want to show you something. Okay, there's just one loot bag down here, huh? I think it's because so few uh, of them actually fell down, most of them faced us. But with this previous horde base over here, uh, this was a 109's episode. Basically, a lot more zombies fell down because as they were trying to jump this, they were getting shocked and slowed as well. So it seems this, this jump over here worked really well in our favor. And then the electric fence post kicked in as well. But unfortunately, as you see, as soon as the giant demo explodes, you don't have any more electricity going for you. Um... Yeah, so somehow we only got like demon bosses come up here over here and then they fall down. Very few of them actually made it to the front door over there. But now that we went, instead of putting the quarter blocks in front of us, we're putting the quarter blocks on the sides of us, which usually actually works really well. For some reason, the demons, lords, and the bosses and stuff made it over even easier. And usually like this, when they jump over here, they're supposed to fall down. That's the whole point of the design. But for some reason, this time around, they just made it over so much easier. And voila. And remember, the demon bosses don't get shocked. So you can't say, yeah, uh, the, the, there's no lines of here. They, uh, that's why they didn't fall. Because even if there are electric lines, they don't get shocked. So they can jump. And they'll just keep going. But the fact that so many bosses made it, I think the saving grace for us was the fact that they tried going into the walls of here. I wonder if you can't make like a trick base like that to trick the bosses. Have them think, ooh, this is going to be easy getting through here, and then all of a sudden they just can't. I actually feel like doing, just for this episode, uh, where did I put my bike or my vehicle just now? I'm going to go and for once just see what the loot is over here. Last episode we didn't do it, but I'm kind of curious, for this kind of game stage, this kind of level, what kind of horde, uh, what kind of loot we're getting? Probably just spawn in a box or something to drop everything in because I just want to check. Remember, this is this series is done, so even if I spawn stuff in right now, it's not going to help me at all. It's not going to do anything for my gameplay. It's literally just to see what kind of loot you get for facing this horde. Okay, uh, we're going to do CM, minor chest. I'm going to do this and drop everything. Okay. Show me what you got. I need to be careful because the, the heat map in this area might still be massive. Guys, I already know what I'm going to do in my uh, next server. In, in the server. If, uh, well, like I said, by the time you guys see these episodes, the server should be up and running already. But my game plan is basically going to be to either go for scientist or for mechanic. Mechanic for the, uh, for the turrets because the turrets really help you out. And then um, scientists, so I can get into the wasteland as soon as possible and just start mining, mining, mining. If I can get titanium super early on, although I think you have to do the scout quest and everything now first to be able to gain access to Anna's place. But as soon as I have access to Anna's place, I'll be able to make myself red titanium tools. And that's going to help me on that server. And especially since it's not insane difficulty, we should be able to survive way easier. Guys, if this was warrior difficulty, I would not have died nearly as much as just now. The only reason I'm dying so much is because of the fact that, um, yeah, this is insane difficulty. Only headshots really count. 
Uh, explosions and stuff do normal damage, especially if you go for their faces. But overall, just shooting at the demons and the demon bosses and stuff, you have to hit the head in insane difficulty. Warrior difficulty, you can shoot their bodies, you can shoot their heads, you can shoot their feet and kill them. Uh, I mean, look at the succubi, for example. Just the normal, the, the ones with the brown wings. I'm able to kill them just by using, uh, just by using like coil weapons and my turrets. But basically just coil weapons in warrior difficulty. Now, even with laser weapons, it takes forever to kill them because body shots do, do so, even with laser tech, do so little damage, you have to do headshots. Now, with the weaker zombies, laser tech's actually OP. You can go for their bodies because they're weak. But the tougher they get, the more boss they get, the more you actually have to go and hit them with uh, laser tech to the face. And you saw just now, just taking down the demon lords and the empowered demons, how many, how much ammo I had to go through. I should actually see exactly how much laser tech or energy cells we have left. The nice thing is we do have the energy cells, the laser batteries. What are the laser batteries? What's the, what are they called again? No, not that one, not that one. I don't have it on my... Oh, I didn't have them on, so I was actually wasting ammo. There is a battery that you can put on that's going to allow you to use way less ammo with your gun. Especially with your laser guns. So basically, you'll, you'll like a brass catcher, get ammo back. I only have that installed on my pistol. I forgot to install it on this. Should have installed it here because then we would have actually had way more ammo to work with. But although, look at this. I think this is basically my ammo. We have like three, four stacks left. We had like seven stacks. So we went through almost like a thousand ammo just to be able to um, get to where we got just now. And still, we wasted all that ammo because we had to do body shot, body shot, body shot. And even when doing headshots, you guys saw the Demon Lord and the Empowered, the huge yellow and orange dude. Uh, he used to be the Incubus, as you guys know, but now he's the Empowered. He's like the, the main general to the Demon Lord. Headshots, 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 and they just didn't die. The Demon Lords, for those of you that are, are curious, that didn't see my Demon Boss video. If you let them heal, they can go up to 300,000 HP. They just had 110 or something now because I stopped them with uh, regen. But they can have up to 300,000. That is insane. Especially just taking it down to 110k. With laser tech, took forever. Now imagine 300k, that's impossible. You're going to have to run away from your base just to try and survive from the dude. But you guys, if you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. What do you guys, what do you do for your defenses? For those of you that actually play Insane Difficulty Darkness Falls, that are as crazy as I am, as uh, challenge bound as I am, uh, leave your comments down below. Uh, or come uh, join my Discord. There is a public link in the description. Post your, uh, your videos, your, uh, your... There is actually a, like a self-promotion thing for people to post videos and post screenshots. What do your defenses look like? What works for you? Or is it just like me, insane difficulty, end game, you just can't. Because our game stage is now even 50 higher than it was earlier. So yeah, uh, it gets to a point, guys. This remember, the demons have taken over. It's the end of days, basically. At this stage, life for humans will just become impossible. That's basically insane difficulty, darkness falls. Heck, even worry difficulty. I can't see anyone facing a horde like this and not die, especially with a permadeath or death is dead, dead is dead series. If you die, you have to start over. Imagine getting this far and dying from like a shot to the face or a, a fireball just landing right there. If it was a normal dude's fireball, sure. But if it's a demon lord or the empowered dude, if they just have to hit the, the block right there and you die, they don't have to hit you head on. Anyways, leave a comment down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, <laughs> please sure to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more 7 Days to Die fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members, patrons, and contributors for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.